Hey guys, in the following video I'm going to give you an overview of how to use the new Gutenberg uh, WordPress for your blog posts. So this will be useful for those of you that have upgraded to WordPress 5.0 and higher. And uh, this will give you an overview of how you can actually blog with it using just a Gutenberg editor. And if you want to use a classic editor, you can do so as well. Uh, we cover it in our documentation uh, by installing the classic editor plugin. And you can find that uh, easily over in the WordPress repository, just searching for the classic editor. If you install this, whenever you have Gutenberg, you will be able to use the classic editor, the standard way that you blog, have always blogged uh, with WordPress. So let's go ahead and get started and show you how you can start blogging with Gutenberg. Basically, the process is the same whenever you're getting started. Uh, you will come in, create an add a new post, and then add the title. Then you will have below the block section. So basically, because this is a block builder, much like our themes, um, you can start typing here. So uh, just add some random text. Like so, if you hit enter, you will get a new uh, paragraph. If you want to add titles, you can easily do that as well. So uh, the title, you can convert this block to a heading. So if you click on any block, uh, you'll see there's a transform option. So I'm gonna use heading. Then you can choose H1, H2, H3 here on the text editor. And you also have a block settings area on the right hand side. You can actually do H1 through H6. So if it's in document, it's most likely going to be H2 through H5. Uh, and you can also align the text as well if you would like. Now you can drag and drop those blocks into any position as well, much like our theme. So just find the position you want to put it in and drop it there. Deleting a block, again, very simple. I just click the three icon, uh, three, just click the three buttons here on the right hand side and just remove the block. Um, you can, of course, add images. So, this is one of the things that a lot of people struggle with. So, I'm going to add a new block over here. This is another area to add a block. And you can choose images. And then, of course, you can choose images from your media library upload an image directly from your desktop by dragging and dropping that in or using a URL to upload an image. You also have options to align the image left, right, center. Uh, I'm going to keep it center for now. And you can actually uh, even have a media text option. So if you wanted to have text and uh, the image, you can do that as well. So. There's a few different options for that. And then of course you can choose the, the font size, just regular uh, text, etc., etc. Enable the option for drop caps. This is also an option uh, that you can add in any of the uh, blocks. So again, it gives you a little bit more flexibility to create something a little bit more unique with the text um, in your post. Now, in this case, I'm going to change this back to a regular post, uh, I just wanted the image, I don't need a, the um, multiple uh, image and text options, I just want the image. And you're gonna have image SEO here again in the block settings area on the right hand side. So you can add your alt text as normal. For example, and you can choose the image size, full size, large, etc. There's also an option for image dimensions and the option to link as well. So you have the link to option here. If you want to link it to uh, you know, a specific URL, you can go ahead and do that by just choosing this option, choosing custom URL, and then linking that file. Now, it may be a little tedious if you are using this method to add uh, images, because you'll have to add each image one by one. And of course, that is not a very efficient method if you're going to be uploading uh, lots of images to your blog posts. So a better alternative would be to use the galleries option. So if you want to add another block, use gallery, you can then choose multiple images 
and then of course add them to your blog post. So let's just add several images here to the blog and create a new gallery. You can drag and drop those into order, add captions, and you can even add alt text at this point uh, if you want by clicking an image and then on the right hand side adding the alt text and descriptions as well. You can insert the gallery. As default, this is set to three columns. You can drag this down to two columns and most likely what you'll do is use the one column option and you can also crop the images if you need to. So for example, if I'm using two columns and you can see the space here, maybe you want to crop that to get a more a consistent look for the uh, masonry grid. But if uh, you're only using one column, it's not really required to have uh, the images cropped. So that will add the images nice and quickly. And that would be the easiest way to add images, um, you know, multiple images at once. If you want to edit the gallery, you can do so as well. So to edit the gallery, you can easily do that by, and you can add more images. You can just come over here, click on it, hit the pencil, and then go to add to gallery. And then of course, choose more images as well. And they will be added into the gallery. Again, reposition those as you need and update the gallery. So that will add all the, the images um, in the order you want. And again, if you want to add text, for example, you can just add another text block afterwards and just add some text here as well. So I'm going to use a paragraph block, add some text. Now, maybe you want to add some video as well and throw the content. There are a few blocks for that as well. So there is the most used section and you can see YouTube's here, but there's also an embeds option here. And you have lots of embeddable options within um, the new Gutenberg editor. So YouTube regular embeds can be from any uh, link on the web and Vimeo. Uh, you also have some other um, options here as well if you're adding some um, you know, different links from uh, different services, but most likely you're gonna be using YouTube or Vimeo. So you just take a YouTube URL. So let's take a YouTube video, copy the link and then just click and paste it in, then hit embed, and that will be the video embedded inside your blog post. And again, the same process will apply for Vimeo. So let's have a look at the document settings. And now that you know how to add all your content, you'll just wanna check some of these settings on the right-hand side here, and that is for publishing the documentation, permalink structure, categories, tags, featured images, excerpts, etc. So status and visibility, again, same as the uh, classic editor. You can choose the different uh, visibility options if it's public, private, or password protected. If it's password protected, add a password to it. Uh, most of you will keep it as public. You can publish it. You can choose the date time that you would like to publish it. So if you wanted to publish it, say on Friday, you can choose Friday and then the time that you want to publish it. And then of course that will be scheduled in. Post format should be standard. Uh, there isn't any additional option for that. Uh, you can then of course uh, choose the admin or author if you have multiple. You then have the permalink options. So you'll want to uh, most likely update your permalink uh, if that's the case. It, uh, right now it's just uh, default, but once you publish it, you should be able to edit that as well. Categories, uh, as always, you have the option to add your categories. Uh, recommend this if you're having a large number of posts. And of course, you can choose the primary category if you have multiple. Tags, you can add tags as well. Again, this is good for hierarchy, especially if you have larger blogs. Featured image, always set the featured image. So choose the main image for this uh, particular blog post. So let's choose a featured image. Excerpt. This can be a small amount of text that is shown maybe in a blog listing view or a, you know, a page where you display all your blog posts. So again, you can craft your own excerpts here for a specific post. Uh, discussion, do you want comments or no? Uh, this one isn't as relevant because you're using flow themes and we allow you to remove the comments uh, block. Uh, languages, uh, this is only if you're translating the plugin. Lifts and sidebars again. Few options for left, full width, and right sidebars, again, depending on your theme. So that's it. Once you've added all your content, same process as always, go ahead, publish it. You'll see that you then have the uh, link here. Normally that is uh, as per your title. And again, as I mentioned, 
uh, you can then of course edit the URL now in the permalink section by updating this and then updating the post. So that is the new uh, blog post added as I've shown you and this is with uh, the gallery option, the single image, adding text, adding videos and there's uh, you know, a lot of flexibility and options uh, to add the posts uh, and to create unique posts with Gutenberg. One thing I didn't mention and just to show you, maybe you want to add two images side by side, again you can easily do that by using the gallery option. So again if I add a new gallery we can uh, just uh, choose two images for example and let's choose these two and then we can choose two columns and that will of course display those images side by side. So if you wanted to build posts and you had, wanted to have diptychs or uh, three images side by side as well you could do that using this gallery block but you would have to of course build multiple gallery blocks to create this layout. So that's it folks go ahead start creating your galleries with Gutenberg. Any questions? As always, please let us know. Thanks.